microphone. Well, folks, welcome to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for tuning in to see us here on Wabash Catch TV here on this beautiful Thursday morning. We do appreciate you tuning in each and every day over in Salem on Channel 3 here in Flora, up in Louisville, uh, down in Jeff, Sisney, Fairfield, Browns, all over the place on Channel 100 and, or Channel 25, depending on whether you have fiber. Thank you so much again for tuning in. My guest today, we have the Frontier Community College Volleyball Squad, and here next to me, we're going to talk to her in just a little bit, is Marjorie Jordan. Hi, Marjorie. Hi. Don't say anything yet. Okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll get to Marjorie in just a little bit. Uh, what is going on around the community? What is, you're, you're wondering, it's Thursday. We're clearly getting ready for the weekend. There's nothing to do. No, au contraire. The fair still going on here in Clay County, along with plenty of other things. And uh, I'm here to tell you what's going on. Uh, for, as a matter of fact, today over in Salem at uh, 1230 today, you can find, uh, this will be at the Brian Bennett Library at the University of, it's the University of Illinois Extension Electricity Workshop. This program is actually best suited for kids grade one to five, and participants are welcome to be, bring a sack lunch. I have no idea what that would be, but it's the University of Illinois Extension Electricity Workshop for, uh, for, for children. So there you go. Let your children play with electricity. Wonderful. Uh, oh, it's a summer reading program. Who's kidding who? So that's fun. That's cool. Would you let your, uh, did, would you or did you let your children play with electricity in grades one through five? Um, you can talk now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I tried not to let them play with electricity. Did they try? But, oh, yeah. Yeah, a, a little bit younger than. A little than younger than that, too. Yeah. Well, you yeah. got to learn. Yeah, exactly. That's, got, all, that's why you got the plugs. That's exactly right. Yeah, you plug, yeah. plug, you put the plug covers on. That's right. Uh, that'll be fun. What else going on today in Salem? It's the farmers market. That's two o'clock to five o'clock today. Here in Flora at the uh, Heritage Woods, they're going to have Patrick Chung is playing the piano today. He'll be there from twelve thirty to uh, one thirty today, and that'll be a good time. Also uh, down in Jeff. At the Oak Valley Church, that's uh, uh, 1301 uh, County Road, 1325 in Jeff. They're going to have VBS tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, that's for kindergartners up to sixth graders. Starts again at uh, 6 o'clock and runs through 8 o'clock. And uh, that should be a good time. At Flora Rehabilitation and Care Center, they're going to have music with Sherry Cook. Sherry Cook, she'll be there at 3 o'clock today. Hope you enjoy that. Also, at the Clay County Fair, I mentioned it earlier, it continues on today. Uh, events for today include Open Dairy Show at 9 a.m. right now. Also, uh, Jen's Power and Grace Tumbling. Joni's Power and Grace Tumbling. You know, for those of us who can't see... You, you're at least not vain enough to wear your to wear you wear your glasses. I'm too darn vain. Oh, I can't see if I don't wear my glasses. Well, you've got you've got good looking <laughs> glasses though. That's 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 true. Uh, so yeah, Joni's power and grace tumbling today from five o'clock to six o'clock. Also, the 4-H horse show and junior horse show will be at six o'clock. And then new and new and old country music playing tonight on stage at seven. It's Tress and the Mixers. So. You want to head out to uh, the Charlie Brown Park, the Clay County Fairgrounds, enjoy that. What's going on at the Edwards County Fair today? They are running and in the grandstand tonight at uh, 6.30. It's motocross racing. They're going to have $2,400 purse over there in their motocross racing. And in the exhibition hall tonight at 5.30, it's We Were Young. We Were Young at 5.30 and then at 6.30, it's a contest. Well, part of the We Were Young is the contest. And then at 6.30, it's painting with Denise Michaels. So all that going on in the area. You think, well, then there's clearly something to do if I go out. But what if it's too hot or something and I don't want to go out? What's on cable tonight? I'll tell you what's on cable. At, uh, of course, Shark Week continues. All right, now I've asked everybody this week, do you enjoy Shark Week, uh, Marjorie? Uh, 
Do I? Yeah. I don't watch it, though, but I know what it is. Well, see, now <laughs> you're ahead of the game. Thank you so much. That's great. I, I try not to watch anything about sharks because I love the beach. So when I go to the beach, I don't want to think about the sharks being in there, you know. Now, so. now that makes a world of sense. Yeah. The voice of reason, there you ladies go. and gentlemen. That's me. That's pretty good. Uh, but it is Shark Week on Discovery Channel. This will be on Channel 626 all night long. Uh, it's uh, at 7 o'clock. It is Shark Cam Strikes Back. Uh, they celebrate the remarkable discoveries the team's made in the last six years, and they take a tongue-in-cheek look at some of the disasters. I got to tell you, tongue-in-cheek, tongue-in-cheek when you're talking when you're talking about sharks seems like it could mean two or three different things. Yeah, I just don't want to think about sharks. At I don't all, blame right? you. Okay, well, you <laughs> close your ears for the next two <laughs> items then. Uh, at uh, eight o'clock tonight, it's shark wrecked. This is the, the most dangerous stunt shark worry week has ever undertaken in a raw, immersive adventure that includes blowing up a boat in the middle of the ocean. Paul DeGelder and James Glancy spend two days floating with sharks. Yeah, that's bright. Nice job, guys. Good thinking. I'm glad the, the camera boat is probably like right next to to it so that, that's good uh, but uh, that is shark wrecked and that's airing tonight at eight o'clock also at nine o'clock it's a tiger shark invasion an invasive species is turning one of the world's old world's oldest marine ecosystems upside down and they're going to talk about that it doesn't even say where that is uh no it's but there it'll be entertaining i'm sure what else is on television tonight well of course there's baseball uh, today and tonight uh this afternoon arizona plays the cubs that's that's at Wrigley, and that'll be a 120. Zach Godley on the mound for Arizona. He'll face Tyler Chatwood for the Cubs. That's on NBC Sports Channel. Uh, that's out of Chicago, 643. Also, this evening on MLB Network, they have a doubleheader. L.A. Dodgers are playing the Braves at 630. Rich Hill versus Annabelle Sanchez, and that's Channel 601. And that will be followed up by Milwaukee at San Francisco, the late game of the evening. It'll be Wade Miley on the mound versus Derek Rodriguez. Again, that on channel 601 tonight. All those things on the Major League Baseball Network and all those things on Wabash Cable tonight. Again, it is Frontier Community College Volleyball tonight. We're going to talk more with Marjorie. Actually, you know, we're gonna, we might actually talk volleyball when okay. we come back. Is that okay with That's you? Okay. That sounds good. Yep. That sounds good with Marjorie. I'm Bruce Dickey. That's Marjorie Jordan. We'll be right back after these words. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. And we'll be back right after these. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. 
Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. My name is Rose. Smoking caused my lung cancer. I was on chemo and radiation. They took part of my lung out, and they put this in me to drain the fluid. Every day I prayed that they would remove it. My tip is be careful what you wish for. That chest tube hurt a lot more coming out than it did going in. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. Morning, folks. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My guest today is Marjorie Jordan, as well as several volleyball players with the Frontier Community College Bobcat volleyball team. And uh, we're going to be talking with those ladies over the course of the next uh, 45, 55 minutes. But uh, good morning, Marjorie. How are you doing? Welcome back. Welcome to the show. Yeah, your, your new show. My new show. Thank yes. you so much. Oh, well, listen to that. Yeah. See, you were on the old show a couple of times yes. how do you like being on tv Is uh, it, uh, i kind of like the radio better <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me <laughs> <laughs> you like the radio better. Well, no, that's, that's too bad. Everyone wants to see right. you. That's for oh. sure. Uh, okay. They can come see me and the team at the games. There you go. Right. When the when they, See, now we've got you in here because yeah. uh, the autumn is the volleyball season, isn't it? It is. When do you guys start practicing or have you started working out? I, I guess you've had probably informal workouts. The girls are supposed to be, yes. Right now they're... Uh, we don't have as many here today because they're getting their last chance of vacations in and such. Oh, really? You know, so before so, we start, because we start off August 1st is our mandatory. Oh, really? Yeah. So. Okay, so uh, what will, uh, what does the, what does early, early uh, practices, what do early con practices consist of whenever you're trying to put together a college season? Well, they start off with lots of conditioning and yeah. getting and hopefully you know they're supposed to be getting themselves staying in shape yeah and stuff and we'll find out which ones have and haven't well you see now that's <laughs> kind of always that's kind of always the problem isn't it yeah. you just never know yeah uh but uh just so like what, school ball just like yeah that's yeah. exactly right uh when does uh when's the season start what's the big number on the wall what have we circled what's the big date do we know well our first big match we're doing a try match and okay that's august 25th Okay, well, I got yeah. I have the the schedule yeah, here. Say make me recall all the games. No, I'm not going to make you <laughs> recall. And yeah. where is uh, where is that August 25th tri match? Well, we play all our home matches at Center Street. School. Okay, so that's so at that's, home. That's a home. Yeah, it's a tri match against. Uh, Lincoln College and Shawnee and Shawnee's brought there's been there's several this year that have new programs, and so Shawnee's bringing theirs back. Wabash really? Valley's bringing theirs back. Oh, I didn't realize Wabash Valley had let it go. They, it? Yeah, I don't don't ask me all the stats on that how many years, but they used to have it, and then they um, they brought it back for this year, and then they have um, John Wood has brought back their volleyball program too. Where so. is John Wood College? Um, I have to Google it. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're coming, they're coming to us. Hopefully, so hopefully they're, coming, yeah, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming to travel. The frontier. Yeah. Oh, that, that's great. Well, that, that's good. Um, this is how many years you've been in the program? This is my third year. Your third year, yeah. and kind of starting a program from scratch, wasn't it? Yeah. A little bit uh, tough. Uh, how, how's it? How is it progressing as the years go along? It, it it's progressing, and, and a little bit, you know, lessons to be learned on all levels, especially mine. You know, um, so they have, you know, uh, from expansion of games. The first year, uh, when I took over that next year, they had only had eleven matches the first oh, really? season, and so we jumped and tried to get twenty five, and now we're up to we play about thirty. I was gonna say, matches, uh, so. what's typical? Probably. Well, it depends it, on which school. We play more. We play more matches than, um, per se, in the past couple of years of like Lincoln Trail and right. Red Lake. But when you compare us to Parkland and Lincoln Land, who are usually this year they didn't they're win really the national. Good yeah, they're in national level, really yeah. good. Usually champion. Oh so, yeah. But this past year they didn't win. But they play fifty-four easily. They max out their dates. How do they so. find that many uh, teams to play? They just travel, huh? They travel. They have a, a you know, they've had a lot longer established program, which means a lot longer established budget, things like that. The technical terms, oh, you know, that's you get the... into the program, but but um, we we do very well with the amount, you know. So I'm very pleased with 30, and it gives us a lot of it. The girls tell you they get the one returning player that was able to come today. Uh, it gives us a lot of um, time to. How many returning you know, players do you have all together? We have six. Okay. this year so well that's yeah that's yeah. good it's it's good to have some movement of the oh, roster yeah. isn't it yeah when i when i took over we had 10 that were sophomores and then so the next year i only had two returning that makes and it kind of difficult that was a very challenging year yeah but um we were able to get uh you know a full squad and uh and then this year we had i tried to balance it out so we had some returning players that had you know transfer players and stuff so it kind of helped balance out do you numbers. try to do you, is there a style of play that that you prefer uh, to uh, to play over another one, and or is there something? Is, does it just depend on your roster how you can tailor a style? Well, it's it's challenging getting you know those teams that aren't within our region, which we have a really competitive region twenty four for our volleyball for our division. But uh, when I when I go out and I do all the scheduling of games, we try to find really competitive uh -huh. level because I would rather have those. And get us ready, you know, yeah. to compete against Parkland and ICC yeah. and those teams, than just getting a game. You got to you got to play against the good teams, don't right. you? So you can right. so you can play. But it is so you can get better. It is challenging when you're a new program, you know, trying to get those those colleges to even you know nibble at you wanting a game. So. Yeah, what do they say? Yeah. I mean, when I mean, for for uh, Frontier being a startup program two years ago, scheduling must have been a real kind of a bear. Yeah. Well, and it was a you know. Definitely a learning experience uh, for me because as we came in, you know, I've come coming from high school sports, yeah. those things, you know, when you're dealing with that, your athletic director takes care of yeah. all that. And so coaching. So you just call and, you know, say, hey, would you have hey, to like? Doing? Yeah. And most often they always say the new teams, if you ever want to play, well, we would be more than happy to play you if we Here. have a day open, if you come to us. <laughs> so, you know, then you have to look at dates and matching dates. And when I took over that first season, uh, it was already kind of behind the game yeah and so when you went to schedule it, it made it a little more challenging because they were booked up one other quick thing looking at this and i noticed this in comparison to last year you had all your home games to the end of the year last year it seemed like your your schedule was terrifically backloaded right well we know actually the first week it of october first week. first week of october is usually always when our last home game is but we had um we have to share that gym at Center right. Street. So right. the so the uh, junior high sports then take over. So all of our home matches are almost always in uh, August and September. I see. And so we do more traveling. But this year it's a little bit more balanced out as far okay. as just we travel away. And that just was when you go to, to you know, meet and talk with them, then that's how they are. Who are going to be the um, who are going to be the good teams in the region? Well, Parkland. Well. <laughs> No, Parkland's no. Not in our, they're not in our conference, though. No, they're in our region. No, they are. Yeah, we're okay. in Region 24, and so they're in our region with us. And, and so Parkland and Lincoln Land usually Let's tell everybody battle, about Parkland battle College. Battle back and forth. Parkland College has, has along with Lincoln Land, Parkland is is a machine, aren't they? They are, yeah. And I, I, we get excited. I get excited when we play them. Um, you know, and last year we were really fortunate because we, we're kind of on a rotation basis with the way we have it set up that Lincoln Trail, us, and Parkland play a tribe match. Okay. And so last year the tribe match came to our place, 
And oh, so this cool. year we'll travel to Parkland to play it. Well, but that's cool. they came to us last season, and so it was really neat. I thought it was really, really neat for this community, for those that came out, to be able to see that level of game. Because and it's they, an entirely different level. Isn't yes, it? yeah. I mean, it's, it's unlike typical here. Yes. And so, um, so we were super excited. And, and last year, uh, just to give a little idea, we had Sabria Phillips, and she mm -hmm. was a transfer athlete you know, onto our team. And she came from Lincoln Land, had played the year before. And so she, uh, they went head to head at the national level, and you know they never got one set from Parkland. Oh wow! And with Lincoln Land, and so last year our bragging rights were when they came to ours, we took a set from them, and so they had played like 178 sets last year and only lost 18 sets and wow. frontier was one of those there so you we go. went nuts so we were super excited there so you go our, that, well, you see, so that was the improvement you know there, and, there's and, well i mean that's the thing you, you, even though the record wasn't that good exactly. last year you've always got to look for something to build right. on and we you? had several of those sets where you know i mean it was 25 23 yeah. it really could have went anyway anyway so um either way that's so when we cool. look at those you know look at from first season to now as you asked you know we've really progressed well that's wonderful talking here with marjorie jordan she's the frontier community college volleyball coach we're going to talk with some players as well when we return you are watching big talk with bruce dickey right here on wabash catch tv here in flora on channel 100 over in salem on channel three elsewhere pretty much on channel 100 please do stick around we'll be right back after these words It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice. So many of our county residents have treatment or surgeries done at larger hospitals. What they don't always realize is that they have a choice. A choice to select where they can have physical therapy or any number of post-operative treatments and follow-ups. The county hospital is your choice. Talk with your specialist, surgeon, or primary care provider and let them know that you want to stay close. Close to family, friends, and most importantly, home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is, it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform.
At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Morning, folks. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here this uh, very pleasant Thursday morning. My name is Bruce Dickey. I am joined this morning by the some of the Frontier volleyball players, and one of them has uh, sat in with us. So scoot this way just a okay. little bit. Uh, you're a little out of camera yeah, screen. I'll get in there. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, well I appreciate you uh, joining. Tell everybody who you are and uh, what are you, where you're from. Okay. Well, my name's Abby Potter. Okay. Um, this will be my second year playing Frontier Volleyball. You're on, we're on this one now. This one? Way. Okay. I if, you, if you want to look at the camera, it's that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the nice show. Yeah. Um, well, this is my second year playing fr uh, Volleyball for Frontier. Uh -huh. um, I'm from Blueford, Illinois. Okay. Went to um, Weber. Yeah, went to Weber. So um, I'm studying business administration, going to real estate. So Really? Yeah. Now, I missed you saying that, you, or you didn't mention that. Yeah. What is, uh, what's the... Uh, What's the draw of real estate? I've never heard anybody going into real estate until they yeah. get out of college. Yeah, um, well, honestly, um, this year when we went to spring break, it was me and three other of the volleyball girls. We uh -huh. went to spring break and we had just like a long day on the beach and everything. So we were on our way to a restaurant and everything. And we were in the restaurant and like I was still in between like, um, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with my major. I wanted something right. like business administration and right. everything. And just lately, I've been just kind of getting like, I need a real estate job, but I wasn't sure how like to go in with that. You started measuring square yeah. footage as you were yeah, yeah. You were sitting I, yeah. there and estimating, huh, this looks like about 1,800 <laughs> yeah. square feet. Looks like, maybe, I'm guessing about a dollar and a half per <laughs> foot here. Is that pretty close? <laughs> um, not exactly. Not exactly. Oh, I <laughs> but, wondered. I like, wondered. Like I was always, um, whenever there was like a fundraiser or anything for school, I'm always, I was only on, on top seller. of it. I'm a big seller. I'm Good. always want to push things. What and, do you play in volleyball? Um, I'm a right side hitter. Right side hitter. Okay. So being the right side hitter, you are the, you're one of the uh, one of the players that are they setting it up to. Uh, you're going to go fly to the net and kill the ball, right? Oh yeah, you know Is it. it. <laughs> Well, Something cool. like that. Well, you see, now that's cool. Uh, did you uh, did you get a chance to, to play in the big Parkland game last year? Or um, actually, I was injured at that point, oh, so I had, yeah. had you do? she had a rough year last year. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, um, I strained a ligament in my right ankle, and then yeah, that hurts. And so the game, I was able to come back. I restrained it in like during warm up. So oh. it was yeah. yeah. What what bum luck? That's I too know. bad. Um, have you uh, enjoyed your uh, I, I guess what was the recruiting pitch that Marjorie gave you that decide, made you decide to come to Frontier yeah. oh, and, and Marjorie's scared right now yeah, I can no. tell she's, <laughs> she's looking back she's like having a flashback she's thinking oh what did I do uh, well no. um, actually she called my coach and asked if you know if I, she had uh, if there was any players on my team that was interested in yeah. trying for volleyball and mm -hmm. I a was like the only senior in uh, in volleyball and in basketball in my senior year so um, when she did say I was looking at a few places to play basketball but um, when she did like mention volleyball I've always I've loved volleyball it was always my favorite so I of course wanted to try yeah. it for her and everything yeah. so well, that's wonderful yeah. so it's worked out so uh, you are then ready for next week for I we didn't talk about it in the first segment did we for your big uh, the big camp Not yet no are you going to be one of the – you're teaching at the camp next week? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, so what will you uh, – the well, here, let's uh, show everybody okay. what the camp is. This uh, volleyball camp is next week. You can look at it on the screen, yep. guys. Uh, the For grades 1 through 4, grades 5 through 8, and also the high school kids. Uh, is is there a time that folks need to register, or how's this work? Probably that time might already be passed, well, right? Well, the pre-registration is well, already passed, but um, if they hurry uh, – I'll be putting in the T-shirt order in a couple of days, okay. So, um, so they can still get a guaranteed uh, T-shirt. Yeah. But they have missed the early bird 
Oh, bummer. So they'll have to pay $60. Oh, well, I yeah. said 50 so, no, it's, yeah. a deal, it's a good deal, though. Yeah. I mean, still, well, see, now yeah, you're well, getting... You, I mean, it's a lot cheap. When you look at college-level camps... And what you learn there, this is a bargain. Speaking yeah. of speaking so. of bargains and that kind of thing, did you play on the club circuit level as you were uh, as you were coming up in volleyball? Actually, I never did play club. I um, I just played school volleyball yeah. and. Yeah, and then I always I always played it recreationally. Never like on. So a were they sense. waiting to rebuild Weber Township High School till you left? Or? <laughs> well, they knew that I was going to destroy at least half of it before I left. <laughs> so they decided to build that other half when I was gone. <laughs> I, I wondered about that. I didn't know. Well, so you see, you could have gotten in. I'm giving them real estate tips on how That's to build it. That's what I'm saying. It. I could have, you know, helped them. You out. can tell she keeps us entertained. I love it. Yeah. Um, we love Abby. And you plan on transferring uh, to a four year school after you get done here right yeah that's the what plan. Uh, what's the plan do we know um well on I'm, I'm either stuck between going to a school 10 hours away or going an hour away so either usa university of southern alabama okay. or usi in indiana so. either way you've got the first two you've got the first two initials picked exactly yeah with you and the s <laughs> so. uh, i like it i like it south alabama you got I, I don't i've never been to south alabama well i've been to south alabama <laughs> but i've never been to the school at south alabama yeah. Um, I, it's got to be closer to New Orleans, though, than USI. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'll be there for all the parades. No, 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 no. You'll be there to, to, to uh, help out in case they have storms or something. It's oh, all yeah. humanitarian. That's I'll your plan. I'll be the plan. director. That's yeah, right. I'll there be directing go. everyone it, to the storm What centers. a lovely young lady. She's she here is. to help out. Yeah. That's she helps out. us out, too. So. That, that's great. That's the uh, what, what, again, is the phone number that folks need to call if, they're, if they want to learn more about the volleyball camp? Okay, they can call 618-599-4794. 4794 599 4794. If you'd like to learn more about the volleyball camp, it is next Thursday and next Friday right. at, uh, at, at, uh, depends on what grade they are. So at, at Center at Street, school. sorry, at yeah, Center, at Street, Center school. Street School. Okay, and there's yeah. there's all kinds of opportunities to learn. Right. Uh, wonderful to see you again. I, mean, I don't know if this is, this is the first time we've met her. Did you come on the radio show too? She didn't come on the radio. Last I didn't time, come yeah. last year, so right. I was. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I was on vacation last well, year. That, so. that, see, the, yeah. I, I don't Abby want, likes to you travel. You didn't miss anything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> didn't miss yeah. anything. Uh, you are. She waited for the live. Yeah. See, she wanted to be on wanna, TV. I mean, look at this face. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's a great <laughs> idea. Uh, you are watching, folks. This is Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My name is Bruce Dickey. This is Marjorie Jordan. That's Abby Porter. We're going to bring in more players when we return. You are watching again on Wabash Catch TV, and we'll be back right after these words. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West.
My name is Brett, and I used to smoke. I quit, but not until I got a serious gum disease. My tip to you is, your smile says a lot about you. What does this say? Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. All right, here we're back at Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My name is Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for joining us today. I've got some more uh, volleyball players for the Frontier Community College of Volleyball, the Bobcats, as their season will begin again. What's the date of the opening of the season? August 1st for practices. August 1st for yeah. practice. See, you don't first even... match. First match is 25th. I was going to say, you yeah. don't even care when the match is. You just want to practice, get we, ready yeah, for Yeah, absolutely. The girls do too. <laughs> Plus, you know, it uh, takes a little while for the girls to get in sync with each other. So sure. I, I want as much time as possible because they're coming from all different directions well that so is a, we, that's a tricky part isn't it uh, yeah. putting uh, uh basically girls that have been the stars on their team before mm -hmm. having them uh, meld into a, a fit with other folks isn't it absolutely so it's a learning lesson there as well you know you're going trial and error yeah you know, who who plays ne best next to each other and things like that so Speaking um, so, of yeah. speaking of two big stars from their teams, uh, we've got uh, Peyton Simpson. Good morning, Peyton. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Fairfield. You are from Fairfield. Okay. Uh, and what year are you going to be at Frontier? I'm going to be a freshman. You're going to be a freshman. Frontier. How about uh, next to you, young lady? I'm going to be a freshman. What's your name? Audrey Fleener. Where are you from? Louisville. See, now I must tell you all, I saw Audrey. I was there the night that you signed your letter of intent. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Was that a lot of fun? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so what are you in school for? Do you Have you uh, decided yet? I'm just going to go get my general stuff first and then transfer for biochemistry. Biochemistry. Okay, now, with biochemistry, do you intend to become a... Uh, you, you need to scoot a little closer to the mic, by the way, whenever you're speaking. You intend to become a scientist, a doctor. What do you What do you want to go uh, go ahead and do? I'm not quite sure yet, but I'd like to work in a, like a hospital laboratory setting. Oh, so you so basically a scientist, a researcher, yeah. type of thing. That sounds great. You'll be working at, in a hospital alongside Peyton. What are you going <laughs> to do, Peyton? Um, I'm going to school for nursing. Okay. So. Do you have a? I always wonder. I always wonder about people who go into nursing. Presumably, you want to help people. That's why you do it, right? Sure. <laughs> It's not for job security or anything like that. Oh, no, 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 not job security. Oh, it's a, that is a that is a well-learned skill, isn't it? You can take anywhere, right? Yeah. Whereas there are some skills like buggy whip, buggy whip makers or something that lose the, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the ability to uh, take their school. Okay, so uh, once you get your two-year certificate, I guess, at Frontier, do you plan on moving on and uh, being able to go um, elsewhere? I'm going to transfer to SIU at Edwardsville and continue continue like my completion program there to get my bachelor's okay uh tell me about what you uh, tell me what do you uh, what did you see about frontier that made you ladies want to come here other than relative uh, location being close for uh, louisville still a, a little under an hour away uh what, what drew you to, to frontier um i really wanted to play volleyball i wanted to continue playing that and they could offer me that so I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do yet, so the general stuff was a good choice for me, I thought. 
Okay, have uh, it's a, college life is going to be a little bit different. Have you guys thought about how college life is different from uh, whenever you're uh, the uh, the you don't know the term. The term used to be BMOC on uh, big man on campus in high school. <laughs> you were you guys were BMOCs at your various schools. You think about whenever you go to to uh, Frontier, and you you may have to adjust. I try not to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not too far from. Not too far from home, home but yeah. still. Are you yeah, uh, both living at home, or are you going to uh, get uh, into the dorm on campus? I'm going to go into the dorm on campus. Oh, really? How about well, you, baby? I'll be at home. Okay. We'll see, there, well, <laughs> well, see, now that, that's the interesting thing. Uh, 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 the Audrey will have to learn how to cook. Are you a good cook or anything like that, or how's that go? Um, when it's out of a box, I can cook real well. <laughs> Lucky for her, there's a few fast food places, too, well, although you, I don't recommend that for well, season. I was going to say, during season, you can't load up on cheeseburgers. Exactly. That, that'd be the mistake. Yeah, uh, um, definitely, especially because she's a setter. So, oh, okay. So, so Audrey's, right, now, Audrey's playing setter. And, and, Audrey's setter. What are you, yeah. Peyton? I'm a middle. Mm -hmm. You're a middle. Uh, now, okay, I got I to gotta know, wh how do you read the other team? What's the? Who do you read off of on the other team to know where you're, where you need to be on the net to get, have the best chance at a block? Never look at the ball. Always look at the person's hand. Is that right? Yeah. If you watch the ball, you're going to be late every time. No kidding. Yeah. Because the ball just moves a lot faster than the hands do, or something uh, like that. If you watch them, like you watch their eyes. So okay. like where they're going is where you're going to. That's what I kind. Of, I've always questioned that. If you're okay, so do have any? Did you play against anybody at the high school level that tried to like decoy you and oh, uh, move their eyes definitely. elsewhere? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Who was really good at that? Hamilton County. Is that right? They're sneaky. The we have a girl man. from Hamilton County too. Oh, okay, well, we'll see. So, see yeah. now, we'll go yeah. through my roster here. Now that she's your teammate, uh, <laughs> you'll be able to uh, to uh, learn all the sneaky tricks. How about you, being a setter? You're down there having to. Well, you're you're doing some saving, but for the most part, you're letting everybody else get the save, and then you're setting everybody else up, right? Like setters yeah. can be sneaky too. That's right. <laughs> Very sneaky. Well, you always, that, when you're recruiting, you always want to look for that left-handed setter. You, you know, they can do the little sneak no. attack. See, now, why no. would she say such a thing when you're? Sitting right here. Oh, what a horrible! Oh. What a terrible! I'm just teasing. Um, you were going to. We're excited about Audrey. So. That's right. Audrey does a great yes. job. I saw, I saw her play basketball and saw the videos of them. They they we televised your volleyball games at Wabash too, right? Yep. Yeah. We we look forward to that. We have a good time. We got a big. I saw Assisney when they came down there play. That's what's challenging about the recruiting is the seasons overlap. So our college season runs the same as the high school. So you know, trying makes to, it kind of tough. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, Running man. all over the place. Tell me some of the other roster kids coming in. You were going to mention some, yeah. of the, some other names. I'll have to read through because otherwise I'll forget some. That's all right. <laughs> Our returning players that we have this year, so um, that aren't with us, is Lexi Wheeler. She's mm -hmm. from. She's my big girl. She's the middle, okay. and she's from Carmi. She's all like right. six two. Wow. She's yeah. That's Not almost as tall as me. And then Nadia. De La Torre okay. is from Bayamon, Puerto Rico. So oh, she's nice. returning up. So we've got some Puerto Ricans also coming new this year. Uh, another returning player is Corey Sissel, and she's from Evansville, Illinois. Okay. Okay. And she's one of Evansville, our Evansville, Illinois. Yes. Oh, well, now yeah. that's very different. Yeah. She's a DS for <laughs> you're, us. You're losing about 150,000 people when you move yeah. from Evansville, Indiana to Evansville, Illinois. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Madison Torrance, she's from Potoka. She was at Christ okay. Our Rock. Nice. And she's returning for us. She played right side. And Bailey Walters, she's from Louisville too. So uh, she was. Yeah, are you looking forward to get the chance to play with Bailey again? Because uh, you got yeah, good teammates, I guess, back last year, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Or year before last. Yeah. yeah. She's a defense specialist as well. So the new ones that we have um, is Morgan Shum. She's a middle hitter from Wayne City. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Ramsey. Freshman? Yeah, for, these are all freshmen. All right. Ramsey Clark, who's the Hamilton County. She was. <laughs> she's going to be playing outside hitter. Uh, Kaylee Ramsey Brown. Ramsey Clark. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a. Uh, I was a general in the in World War II. Oh. I'm sorry about that. That just pops into my head. I'm like, do you know Ramsey? <laughs> no, no, I know, I know the name. Yeah, uh, Kaylee Brown. She's outside hitter from okay. Sparta, and then we have uh, two Puerto Ricans. And oh, so, really? yeah, that are actually on the plane. I don't know if they're on the plane yet, but they're arriving tonight. Like now, tonight. Did you have? Uh, you had a Puerto Rican as a sophomore this mm -hmm. year. Were they? Was her family struck by the hurricane? They were. Yeah. Were they really? Mm -hmm. I, I know that you guys, the, the the Frontier Community College, did a lot of good. Yeah, uh, trying tried to. fundraising mm -hmm. for the folks. Well, tell me about some of the things you guys did. Well, we had a like one of our match nights was support the 
Puerto Ricans, so they came out as our ended up being our sophomore night. So the proceeds were, f- you know, raised we're for that. And then, yeah. to that. and then they had a Puerto Rico night, and uh, they had at the college with like kids and me. I can't remember I everything. Remember Abby, that. That was a we need Abby night. up here. Yeah, they did. I wasn't able to make it that night, unfortunately. But did you salsa, Abby? I salsa. She yeah. salsa. She says, so, "Well, that was yeah. That, that's the thing. You, you, t- you guys, well, you guys weren't on the team, no. but y'all take care of teammates, don't yeah. you?" Yeah, yeah. And she and, and Nadia, it was really, really tough for her. She's Puerto Ricans are very family oriented, mm-hmm. and so not that we're not, but but they, well, really, they yeah, right. But they, uh, it was really hard for her because she was away from home and all this was happening, and she couldn't leave, and and it was really, her family really turned out okay. It really, really, yeah, it was tough. So she was able to go home at Christmas, good, and see them, but right before Christmas. So that we were really happy for her, but um, but we have the two Port- other two Puerto Ricans are Danishka Brown and she's Danishka. Danishka. Yeah, we've all been saying it. We like. I love it. Danish- yeah, that's a great name. Yeah, I Danishka Brown, and uh, she's defense specialist. Yes, too. And then uh, we her, we call her Helen. Her name's quite complicated. So Helen Rivera is our other. <laughs> you got to give me a shot. You got to give me a shot. How do you spell the name? It's H E L I N I C I Z. Helen. Yeah. <laughs> Helen. Helen. That works great. That's wonderful. Helen Rivera. She's a, a middle and right side. She's from Puerto Rico too. So, uh, and then we, and then we have a couple helpers. Okay. Yeah. So, tell me yeah, before, before I get before I, I, right. I, I, I thought we were done. My big, help? my big helper is my assistant. I, I was going to get her in yeah, here in the Kristen, next segment. Kristen Wright. You know that. Kristen Wright. And then uh, we have Melanie Jordan. Okay. Who, gonna she's going to be in here. Team. Yep. And so uh, she's our team manager. Has been from the start. And then Vanessa Vinson from Fairfield. She's uh, coached a lot of club and done extra stuff. She played in school and stuff. School ball. Uh, she's going to come and help and be like our second. Assistant, so. Again, camp is, uh, we can't say it enough, you got yeah. camp starting next week, next Thursday, and next Friday. If uh, folks are looking to, if, if folks have kids who want to learn about volleyball or if uh, they're watching this, you want to learn what phone number again? Let's give it again, yeah, 599. Six, yeah, 599. Four seven nine four. You know, I'm going to write that down so I don't have to. Sure, ask it's you. on. It's on the little fl- flyer. Well, I, don't. I know, but you can find that on. You can find that on the Facebook page at Frontier. There you go. There's Frontier Athletics, there and you so go. you find it right there, and you can go to it, and all the information is on there. The times, everything as well. That's Marjorie Jordan. Uh, that's Peyton Simpson, and that is Audrey Fleener. They're volleyball players. She's a volleyball coach. We'll be back. We're going to talk to another couple of uh, of uh, folks involved with Frontier Volleyball when we return you're watching big talk with bruce dickey right here on wabash catch tv do stick around we'll be right back when you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround go to lamont chevrolet chrysler in fairfield let gabe mcgahey sheldon bunning jeff black dennis downs matthew rogers or caleb dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LamontsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. 
Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to 1 gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the Fallout Shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Nicky. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform. <laughs> you didn't know what that meant. You know, that's great. Like, that's what? great. Welcome back. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for watching me play typing here for the last 10 seconds. I do appreciate your patience during my uh, during my little snit fit here. And I said snit fit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't say anything bad. Uh, we are talking to the uh, Frontier Community College Volleyball Squad. This is uh, Marjorie Jordan right here. Next to her is Kristen Wright. Kristen, you are going to be some uh, doing some assistant coaching this year, right? Yes, be my third year. You're okay. And uh, down yeah. there is team manager. Uh, tell, introduce yourself. My name is Melanie Jordan. What year are you now? You're not quite in college yet, are you? No, I'm a junior in high school. I thought you were. Yeah. Uh, you now are you still managing also at the high school level too? No, I just do for the college. Hey, you, uh, I keep her plenty busy. You've got her. You've got her training. She does. I mean, she, the girls will tell you she. She's she cracking run. the whip. It was, she tries to. That's for sure. Does she? <laughs> She's a little sassy. <laughs> All right, Kristen, you, you played uh, college volleyball a little bit more recent than Marjorie, right? A smidge. A smidge. <laughs> just a little 10 bit. 10 to 12. Yeah. Just, a, just a few years. Uh, what, are, what are you able to bring to practices and to games that, uh, uh, like new drills or anything like that? Or what are, what, what are you able to help out with? I was a setter. So uh -huh. I do more with Let's the with the setters than I mean I have some hitting ideas I guess but I knew more about the blocking hitting or setting aspect of it than I did anything else. Um, where did you play? Lincoln College. Lincoln College up in Lincoln, Illinois, right? Yep. Uh, that's a that's always been a pretty solid school, volleyball school, hasn't it? Yes. They we were Pretty good when I was there. Pretty good. Yeah, See, I now went you with being, Jana too. Huh? My cousin Jana, right? She and oh, I. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Are you uh, are you being modest or how? Like, were you really, really good and wanted then, 
and won won the nationals and and they invited you to the NCAA tournament and we all that kind of stuff. Win nationals. We are in the same region as Parkland. Well, okay, now now Marjorie was bragging up Parkland before you got here. Give us uh, some yeah. Parkland story that uh, about how good. I mean, we want to talk about how good Frontier is for sure. Exactly. But but there Frontier are there are Parkland once but there are behemoths <laughs> in your in your midst, aren't there? Yes. If yeah. You don't really realize, I mean, you can see the scores and watch footage, but you don't know Parkland until you see them yeah. face to face, until they're on the other side of the net hitting at you. Yeah. <laughs> until it's coming at you, right. until it's coming at your face. Yeah, exactly. Right? Literally. Yeah. We had a couple nailed yeah. just dead on. Yeah. Is that oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That kind of that kind of a little bit frightening. It, it is, yeah. One, we I'm just got to sure hope block us get there. So now, so now you are training your girls to be able to do that too and hit that hard too, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Is there, is there something? I guess I guess the question is, and, and either or both of you can answer this: is the is there how much um, how much when you get to that level of a Parkland hitter, how much of that is coached up to that level versus how much of that is natural talent and they're able to recruit differently? Well, they're they definitely with having the program established for long in their name. I mean, when you're national champions, you know. And, the and they've been in a few times. Yeah, the last, yeah. not last year, but the year before, I think they were 54-0. So, I mean, they didn't lose. Um, and wow. So, when, you know, when you're at that level, of course, you know, athletes want to come to you. That's where we're wanting that's, our well, that's, athletes that's, I mean, that's to the us goal. too as well. That's right. the goal. Exactly, with any college program. But um, with ours, you know, our girls, it's a mixture of both. Like we mentally preparing them, mm -hmm. you know, when they face, because you can't be scared. Like that was the big, I think that was the huge eye opener was, I mean, we preached to them, you girls can do this. You can do that. And then they did. And it was like, I mean, it was one of, yeah. it was one of our greatest moments. Um, just the realization that, oh my was gosh, that, we can play at that level. Now, uh, it, it seems like it was a great thrill to uh, Marjorie, and I, I'm, I'm sure it was to Melanie. Was that a big thrill to you? Because you'd played against teams at that level before, as well as coach against teams at that level. Yes, I love to watch the footage of the end of that game yeah. where all of us just go crazy. Really? Yeah, it was just, oh, yeah. Yeah. You went crazy at the end of it, even though because you'd won it. At well, the end the of the set. set, yeah. At the end of that set, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right. What yeah. was the uh, what was the score? If you don't mind oh me. Oh my asking. gosh! Now you're really pulling up. Oh, it was like it was 25, really 25 to nineteen, I think. Oh, you, you, you beat them by yeah. you beat them by yeah. six I by six points. It wasn't a nail biter. It was, no, like we yeah, got a good was, jump on them. And, yeah. yeah, and I think we shocked them. Well, see, now that's the thing you're talking about them only losing eighteen sets last year or eighteen games in different matches. I'm assuming that that had to be about as wide that wide as they lost most of the mm -hmm. year oh yeah yeah wow. and and that's what the you know the moment that we loved was because of the fact of like our girls like we just get so happy for the girls or you know the excitement we want them to win and and when they get that moment and that that realization and and the sabria was like she was like please pitch me like pinch me did this yeah. really did, did that just did, just, did that really just happen cool. oh that's you know, wonderful so, um, so, that's yeah, the kind so of moments you want more of. right and that's what you know that's the athletes we look for like we want those that are pushing as much mm -hmm. You know the drive, the mental. How do you do it? I, that's. I mean, we're we're running out of clock here, but I'm wondering how do you how do you recruit during season? Since the high school season is the at the same time as the college volleyball season, it must be tremendously difficult for both of you to go watch matches, or either of you yeah. to go watch a match. We watched well, a lot of people at Fairfield. <laughs> so we had practice. a lot of Fairfield games. Yeah, yeah. Was they that had right? games at yeah. six. We had practice till six, and we just went yeah. straight right. to the high school after. We watched them at practice. Albion, Sisney. Yeah. I mean, we tried to hit. We the, went to tournaments. Right. We hit some tournaments. Mm -hmm. We do, you know, or I I do more so off season. Yeah. When you know there's the club tournaments, yeah. there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of after season time of trying to hit them and touch base with them before, you know, that catch them. I have lots of websites, recruit. I mean, all over. So there's lots of different. Um, techniques but we look for athletes that are not just athletically strong but also academically well, strong. well i was going to say we've hardly even touched on academics mm -hmm. and and the academics have been outstanding haven't they yeah they have so um we've had well all three all two years in which i've had the teams we've had njcaa athletic academic award students as well but on the team level they do rankings and stuff so i have to pull up my little Knows here real quick. You realize but, we're, I'm, I'm running out. Oh, of okay. You better hurry. Okay, hurry. So yeah. we were ranked this year in our region. They they did, and we were second in region 24. But of our division, we were actually number one because it counts all D1, D2, D, and three. But we were uh, 20. 
ninth in the entire nation, I believe. Wow. So we had a 3.31 team GPA. And so well, last, year, year, we're, last year we were 10th, I of. think. So, yeah, we, we've done really, really well. And, and you know, it makes me super, us super proud of the – Girls, well, that's, so. that's outstanding. Again, the volleyball camp is next week. It's August 2nd and 3rd. For more information, call 599-4794. That's Marjorie. That's Kristen. That's Melanie. Guys, thanks very much for coming on the show, okay? Thanks for having and us. And ladies, thanks for coming yeah. on, too. Appreciate it. That's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. And we'll take the points tomorrow. Have a great day.